Okay, guys, this is um, if you had problems getting this done, um, just to get, get you started video. First thing, when you open this assignment here in Google Slides, you have to hit File and make a copy. You cannot mess with this one. You can't do anything with it. So you have to hit File and make a copy. So you open it. I'm being slow today. Oh, I got my. Uh, let me get this back up to normal size. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, again, you can't mess with this one, it won't let you move stuff around. You have to hit file, make a copy. All right, you can hit selected slides or just the um, entire one. Make sure you select the one with the problems on it. When this box opens, this is where I want you to put your name in this box. Okay, so file. Hit on this selected. If you're going to hit selected, make sure you're on the right one. File, make a copy, selected slides, and put your name in here. Okay? All right, now how to do them. This is about slope. This is about your y minus y over your x minus x. It gives you the first problem. It gives you N is right here. So you're going to take this and you're going to move it over to N. All right, now you need to work this problem up here and this problem on the side so that you know what box to put here and what box to put here. So this first one here um, is... What is, I think it's negative 2, negative 10. So let's go over here, and we're going to, your first problem was negative 2, negative 10, and 4, negative 1. Remember when you're finding slope, you have your x, y, x, y. First number is always the x coordinate. Second number is always the y coordinate. Then you have your formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So there's our y's and our x's, and all we got to do is plug these numbers into that formula. We get to choose who's going to be 1, and who's going to be 2. It makes absolutely no difference. So I just write down 1 and 2. I don't spend any time on it. But my y2, y2, that makes negative 1 minus my y1, negative 10. Okay? So negative 1 minus negative 10 over x2, x2, 4, minus y or x1, negative 2. All right, so I have negative 1 minus a negative 10. Remember when you have minus a negative, that's a plus. So I have negative 1 minus negative 10, that's a 9, over 4 minus a negative 2 is a 6. So my slope is 3 over 2, dividing both of those by 3. So my slope is 3 over 2. That is this problem right here. Let me get this. So negative 2, negative 10, 4, negative 1, the slope was two or 3 over 2. 
So here's my answer on this box right here. So I got to take this box and slide it over on top so that the answer and the problem are right next to each other. Okay. All right. I'm going to do this one, negative one, negative nine, and two, three. Negative one, negative nine, two, three. Again, first number is X, second number is Y. X, Y. Slope formula, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. You get to choose who's your point one and two. Again, I just won't, I'm not going to spend any time on picking one. I'm just going to go ahead and choose it. So Y2 is three minus Y1 is negative nine over X2 minus X1, X2, two minus X1, negative one. Again, we got that double negative, so that's a 12 over 3. That gives me a 4, right? So my slope for that side is 4. M equals 4. So I'm going back over to my problems, and I find an answer. Now, this is on the left side of the box, so I'm going to be looking on the right side of the box there we go right there, M equals 4. So I'm going to take this box, and I'm going to put it there. Because the answer to here is right there. The problem and the answer should be right next to each other. Okay? All right. When, well, let's do one more. We'll do negative 8, 3, 4, Six. So we're going to do this problem up here to find out what of these boxes should go in this area. Now this is on the top, so I'm going to be looking for answers that will be on the bottom here. My coordinates are negative 8, 3, and 4, 6. So let's do one more of those. Negative 8, 3, 4, 6. Remember our slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, so I have 1, 2. y2 is 6 minus y1. y1 is 3. Remember, x, y, x, y. All right. Then I have x2 is 2. x1 is negative 8. All right. So 3, 6 minus 3 gives me 3. And 2 minus a negative 8 gives me 10. So I have 3 over 10 for my answer. That's not going to simplify at all. Remember, if you do do it the other way and you get like a negative 3 over a negative, come on you, 10, those negatives cancel each other out and it's still going to be a positive 10, okay? All right, so I'm looking for 3 tenths. And again, this is on top, so I'm going to be looking around the bottom for a three tenths. And I don't see one. Miss Graham must have done something wrong. And that's going to happen. Let's see. Eight thirds, three fourths, one third. Let's see. Negative eight, negative three, four, and six. Let's go back to our scratch work. Negative 8, 3, 4, 6. Got those right. Y2 minus Y1. 6 minus 3. Oh, I did. There's where I messed up. I bet you guys found that confusing. That should be a 4, right? Minus a negative 8. That is a 12. I'm sorry, guys. 
So that's a 12. So that doesn't reduce down to 3 over 10. It comes 3 over 12 is equal to 1 over 4. So that's what I am looking for, a 1 over 4. So I come back here. On the bottom, there's M right there. Okay, so that's going to go on top there. Okay. All right, guys. Um, continue filling it in. When you get done, yours will have a share. You will share it with me. Don't worry about doing the screenshot um, unless you know how. If you know how to do the screenshot and submit it into Google Forms, do that. You'll go take your screenshot, and then you will open up Google Forms and... Just upload where it says upload file. Come on, you. Where it says add file, add it in. Okay? If you don't know how to do the screenshot, just share it with me. All right, guys.